Desi Banks blew up? Desi Banks is is is, is doing. It. He he said that it is you take you saying acting lightly. You taking it. You taking comedy lightly. You said that. I said that you 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 you. I said be careful who you say is a comedian. You did say that. Don't don't you can't just uh, give. Uh, so what would you call them? Give them a name. They just is on the internet. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't get scrunch oh, over right Hey, all I'm saying, when I interviewed Bro. Alex Thomas, Alex Thomas said the same thing. Yeah. He said five minutes is not the same as doing a whole set. Yeah. These guys, some of them are doing sets. Some of them doing Netflix it. specials. Can I ask you a question? If I built, if I built the refrigerator, is it good because I did it? We don't know. We gotta see if it's gonna work. Well, it ain't gonna work. Oh, you know. Because you don't know how to do it right. Because I don't know how to do it right. That's like T.I. When you said that, the only reason T.I. is successful because he was a musician first. But if T.I. was just trying to get on stage, he'd be way behind. T.I. took his attributes from rapping and his words. So he, rapping. he might rap up there is what you just said. No, no, no. What I'm saying is he has he a... Can. He knows how to... He knows how to get... To and, and to build stuff. Yeah. He knows how to build a, a personality, a star, a story. He knows... He, 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 he's been acting. I've never seen in a movie I was like, that man, that nigga sucks. He's good. Who else then came out that, that just blew up, you know? Uh, you guys saying blow up. Blow up them is 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 a nut. <laughs> it's stupid. Like a, that's it. It's a nut. See, do you think Desi Banks blew up? Desi Banks is is is, is doing. He he said that it is you take you saying acting lightly. You taking that. You taking comedy lightly. You said that. I said that you 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 you. I said be careful who you say is a comedian. You did say that. Don't don't you can't just. Uh, give uh. So what would you call them? Give them a name. They just niggas on the internet. What? What do you call internet people? You know, you know, you know, you know the difference. Influencers. <laughs> Here we go. That's the answer. That's the answer. What you just call my uh, my, my guy? Well, I keep fucking see. I'm Rob Bosa. Rob Bosa. Rob. And I've been looking Rob. at this guy. He's Ralph, yeah, Ralph. He's dope. Yeah. Right? How'd you know him? You're not his demographic. No, I was at the. Um, I actually interviewed Black Run, and Black Run. Black He's Run, a bad mother. Black Run Parker. said he was the. He was second. He said that Ralph was first. Now he said he was the first out of Dallas. That's how I end up. I said, Black okay. Run. And it's on like Brandon, bro, but I'm I'm low key the highest decorated black comedian. From Dallas, and I used to say the highest decorated comedian from Dallas, but here lately, my man Ralph Bar Barbosa, okay, been tanned it up, so and he's here in Dallas. He, too? He's a Oak Cliff native, on and he shout out to my essay. Harry having a baby at a young age. I feel like I'm a new employee who just got put to train, and even newer employee. He's, that's also just yeah. as Oak Cliff as we are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And wait a minute, let me tell this story. That night, it's so I crazy. ended up at the restaurant. With Ralph's girlfriend on Lord Greenville that night, I posted it that everybody. day, and I was like, she was like, "Yeah, my boyfriend Ralph." So the next day, they started talking to. Me. I was like, "Get him on my show," because I just posted him today. I just found out who he is. That's how that happened. You know why? Because he's good. Mm -hmm. He cuts through the motherfucking influencers. <laughs> influencers. He's good. He, he, he was doing all the little. Black Rob is good. good. That hey, and you can tell. Good. Yeah, he was opening for me, smashing. He, he said he's he, funny. Yeah, he's crazy with it. Next man. time I tell him, call him. He said I'm, 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 I'm busy face. Hey, <laughs> I said, you black motherfucker. <laughs> you got me getting this black toothpaste and shit, motherfucker. <laughs> No, he was regular toothpaste face, huh? He was the black toothpaste. That like, charcoal toothpaste. Yeah, I'm like, this is massive <laughs> goddamn shit. The fuck are you doing? Man, but he came from the trenches. I, I remember him being at this small place a long time ago. You had to. And he was in this studio, and it wasn't all and nobody there. You had to. And then he's like, you forgot about me. You won't even bring me on the show. I'm like, nigga, I don't know you. What he's like, I'm uh, on this show. Um, Sadiq, what's my brother's name? Oh, oh Ali Sadiq. 
Ali Sadiq. Ali Sadiq. Shout out to Danny. That's where they going. This that's it, they bad cover motherfucker. He's been doing always it a been a bad yeah yeah he's been doing. He was on a roll with with Bill Bellamy. He mm-hmm. middle he's, he's middle for me at the at the at the Houston Improv. And he had all these comedy places going on. Faze, like, can you come through? I was like, nah, bro. Like, I, 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 you know, but uh, working. Put the work. Working. Down. Put the work. You talking about country, Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> Ali deep. Country Wayne, man. Country Joe, whatever his name <laughs> is. <laughs> Ali Sadiq. All these people you mentioned are true comedians. Put the work in. You can hear when he's speaking. Man, you go get the boots. Getting the Mexicans getting the boots. Mexicans getting the boots. Mexicans getting the boots. Uh, Mexicans got boots. Mexicans got boots. Mexicans got boots. It's it's that is going to be an iconic story that came from a real comedian. Look that up. He's a bad motherfucker. I got a, I got a question to you. Yeah, we gonna, I'm going to turn it yeah, down. Going so. back to um, relationships. Mm. Right. Oh, yeah, we better get you a woman today. <laughs> going back to relationships. You know, we were asking what's the perfect woman for you and so forth. Would you ever, because I see where um, Sharon Osbourne and Ozzy Osbourne, you already know your relationship. Oh, he knows the marriage. Him. Believe me. Right? And she would tell him, because, you know, he was always on the road and, you know, fans, girls, all of that. She would tell him, well, when you're going out here dealing with all of these groupies, mm-hmm. just make sure you wear a condom mm-hmm. and don't get no names and don't get no addresses. Is that cool for you? She is what they call a Jamaican. Okay. She's there for the long run. She's like, he ain't in love with the pussy. He's just doing something. He's just really being a superstar. Like, no matter what happened with Charles, you know she got your back. Yeah, but damn. She sure. said that these cameras. You, I with me, everywhere we go. No, she did it. I know, I saw it. <laughs> I said, yeah, she do it. She took over. Put, put on the camera, put on the thing. Uh, <laughs> put, on, put on the thing. Then she got the oxtails over here. She, got <laughs> she working, man. So... Sharon came up in the era where she said, okay, do you want to be separated or do you want to share? I have to share him with the world because he's a part of the world. Mm -hmm. He's a fucking superstar. Mm -hmm. All them girls that he fucked and all that, he don't remember not one of them. But guess who's there right now? Guess who's living in Beverly Hills right now? That's old school. Guess who's got a family right now? That's grandma on him. That's That's grandma on him. There you go. That's grandma on him. All right now. He's (laughs) home. That's grandma. Share, share that's grandma. Oh, he's crazy. No, but that's grandma. Think, but do you think those type of women still exist in no. the younger generation nowadays? The younger, ge- I, I can't. You seen him twerking last night, showing you how they. The rose is not trying to do nothing with us, man. <laughs> TikTok, <laughs> TikTok, man. No, they not these. They not built for that. They built for nothing. There's nothing you can do uh, a 25 year old because they they their you brain. You can't even say that because remember you have a daughter that's gonna get older. No, that's but my daughter's be... under my guidance. And some of these young girls out here are under some other. No, guidance I don't think so. Older... <laughs> Not from what you see. I don't think so. Not from what he sees. <laughs> I don't think so. Through experience, right? I don't think so. Lack of guidance. It's like um, yeah, yeah. They, father's not in the homes. Not in the homes. Thank you. And um, they're not caring. A, it's, it's logically they're not doing it. And I was getting kind of into it because I, 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 I was like, okay. Um, but she tells me she has to go to Atlanta to network. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I was like, network what? Well, I'm an influencer. And sucking dick? What do you, what do you mean you're an influencer? What? What do you mean? But in their mind, they think they're influencing something. This girl got 3,000 followers. But they think because fame is uh, it's it, Fame is a monster. It, it, fame is a, a monster. It could be whatever what, what, what you want. But if you believe it, that you with three thousand followers, you think you the shit, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. She, she says she's doing a calendar. I said, you know, people don't really use calendars anymore. Mm-mm. That's just the beginning of porn. Can you take? Can you stand by the bathroom with your ass out? 
<laughs> he said about uh, the motorcycle with your tits out like that. Great. It's going to be great for the calendar. Who the fuck has a calendar? They cut that part and keep the picture. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.